still, that was one of the main reasons why we got the look at the studio that we did. Because they were trying to put us on, um, and this is just, this is just industry, but, uh, they were trying to give us like a limited uh, release, a limited screen release, which is what they do with a lot of black films in Hollywood. And what that does doesn't put you on an even level playing field where you can actually compete because you're not in the same amount of theaters. Yeah. So when you see a black film coming in on Sunday, when they tally up the receipts, I mean, what you think is going to be the number one film because everybody's been talking about it on the street. Yeah, it comes yeah. in like third or fourth. Is because they weren't put on the same amount of screens uh, as that film that is supposed to be number one. You feel me? Yep. So, you know, with Will um, and with his production company, they fought tooth and nail to make sure that we at least were to some degree in the same amount of theaters as like Ice Age 2, mm. which I think, yeah, was out at the time who we were competing with. Now, this is what a lot of people don't know. If we were... Um, if we had been given the opportunity, I think, to be in the same amount of theaters as them, we could have, I think, possibly taken the number one spot because in every theater that we were in, and this is um, this is on record, I believe. People can look it up. Every theater that we were in at the, as the same as like Ice Age, uh, we scored higher than them. We made more money than them. So that just goes to show you yeah, yeah. the power of black stories, the power of black cinema. We can compete too if you put us on an equal level playing field. That's all I'm saying. No, nah, that's real. Not and trying I mean, to get too political, but that's just real shit. And shout out to Will too for like that open production company for helping create that visibility. You know, Will's just, the bomb. Shout out to him. Shout out to 